Hey popcorn lovers, I'm Mike and this is Lily, back with another tail wagging mystery. <laughs> Today we're tackling a question that's been plaguing parents since the beginning of Doggo Cuddles. Why does my dog look me like I'm a giant slobbery lollipop? <laughs> is this some primal instinct? Or are they secretly taste testing us for future canine cuisine? Or are they just trying to melt our cold human hearts with their sandpapery tongues? Well, buckle up, because Dr. Positon, the world's most renowned animologist, is on the way to sniff out the truth. Now, before we dive in, let's see if you're a real true canine connoisseur. Let's see. What is a dog's tongue actually good for? A. Building miniature sandcastles? B. Licking your face clean of peanut butter? Or C. Cleaning your cat? Or D. All of the above? Hit that like button and smash subscribe if you think you know the answer. Dr. Posington, where are you, you furry Einstein? Arriving fashionably late, as always, Mike. Now, what's this about canine tongue baths? So, Doc, why do dogs lick us? Is it just a weird canine way of saying, I love you? Well, it's a bit more complex than that. Licking can be a sign of affection, sure, but it's also a leftover puppy behavior from their mama loving days. Remember, they used to lick their moms for food and comfort. Now they transfer that affection to us, their adopted human pack. So it's like a furry love letter written in spit. <laughs> you could say that. But licking could also be a way for dogs to gather information. Our salty skin tells them about our health, stress levels, and even what we had for lunch. Wait, so they're basically canine detectives with a taste for Cheetos? Precisely. And sometimes licking is just a way for them to self-soothe or relieve boredom. Think of it like canine meditation, but with more slobber. Well, Doc, the floor is yours. Tell us why do our furry friends give us these kisses? Well, it's not as simple as one might think. There's a whole buffet of reasons why your doggo might be giving you the lickety split treatment. Buffet, you say? Can we have a smorgasbord of explanations, Doc? Of course. First up, affection. Just like human smooches, dog licks can be a way of saying, I love you, you glorious, hairless ape. Ah, that's roughly sweet. But what if Lily's tongue is more like a mop than a love letter? Then it could be attention seeking. A quick lick may be your pup's way of saying, hey, remember me? The one with the floppy ears and the endless supply of drool? I get it. Sometimes my dog's licks are like Morse code for play fetch or I lick your toes until they squeak. Precisely. Now, before you reach for the antibacterial wipes, there's another possibility, anxiety. Licking can be a self-soothing mechanism for our furry friends, just like some humans twirl their hair or chew their nails. So a little slobbery stress relief, I can relate. Speaking of stress, Doc, what about those times when Lily starts licking like she's auditioning for a salsa solo? Excessive licking can sometimes be a sign of an underlying medical condition. Allergies, digestive issues, even boredom can manifest in a dog's licking behavior. Yikes! So if Lily's tongue turns into a jackhammer, time to see the vet, not the ice cream stand. Absolutely. Remember, Mike, while doggo licks can be a sign of love and affection, they can also be a furry Morse code for something more serious. Listen to your pup. Watch their behavior. And if you're ever concerned, consult your local veterinarian. Thanks, Doc. That was insightful, informative, and way less messy than a real dog lick. It's been my pleasure. Now, before I depart, a word to the wise. If your dog's breath smells like old tennis balls and regret, please don't blame me. <laughs> and there you have it, folks. The mystery of the dog lick is solved, or at least mildly explained. And remember, your pup's licks... 
might be a little weird, but hey, that's just part of the charm of having a furry friend. <laughs> so cuddle up and embrace the kisses, maybe with napkins nearby, and share the unique bond you have with your furry friend. Thank you for joining us on this possum journey. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more hilarious pet mysteries and tips. And remember, if your dog's licking is excessive or seems abnormal, always consult your vet. Now go give your furry friend a big old hug and maybe a chew toy to keep them busy. Woof out!